Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am personally doing good from my end and I want to welcome each and every one of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, welcome back and thank you for your support. Thank you for always being here for the sake of Harry and Meghan and always supporting and defending them whenever there is need. My people, I always say that the successes are these people who always face hatred in the UK media, but they still stand strong. And that's why on behalf of them, I am always here each and every day to just make a point and an effort of defending them against the hate. So one thing that I have learned from people like Richard Eden is that they will never give up in this campaign against the success. And from the mail, we are seeing another information that I am here to share with you and my people kindly follow this and listen to this video until the end. And then you will actually give me your own opinion concerning the same. This is just an update from the mail. I am not here to confirm this story or even do anything with it. Just here to update you on the obsession that the Daily Mail has for Harry and Meghan. Always looking for headlines using Harry and Meghan's name. Now, from the mail, they claim that the Sussexes bought a home in Portugal and might have EU golden visas. My people, I don't know what you have to say about the story. I don't know if you have listened to it or this is the first time you are getting to listen to the story. But if you haven't heard of the same, here we are to look into the details of the whole story. The Daily Mail's Richard Eden has caught a school. He has an exclusive and he is blaring it as loudly as he can. You all know Richard Eden. Whenever I mention such a name, definitely you have an image of someone obsessed with Harry and Meghan. Someone kneeling down to the royal family, protecting them for no good reason. So, this is not some exclusive reporting on King Charles and Camilla's Australian flop tour. And I'm asking myself, why is Eden assuming that Australian tour of Charles and Camilla? And yet that is the story currently trending and people are publishing the stories of the same. We have seen people reacting to the way that tour will be a very terrible one. Despite Charles Keeping chemotherapy for the same. It's also not about Kate Middleton's missing engagement ring, nor William's mysterious weight loss. It's not about the poor Duchess Sophie and why all royal reporters forget to cover her and her tours. So no, Eden's critical Journalistic eye will never deign to cover any of the left behind Windsors. Instead, he will always look for something related to Harry and Meghan so that he can make a whole story of it, publishing a column of, you know, the real estates purchased by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And my people, I came here to share the news with you. So from the Daily Mail, I'll be sharing this article and kindly follow this keenly so that you get more details of Eden's view. And tell me at the end of it all, what do you think about Richard Eden's comments on Harry and Meghan? When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were evicted from their Frogmore cottage, 
at Windsor by King Charles, they were left without a home in this country. The California-based couple have, however, ensured that they retain a foothold on the side of the Atlantic. The Daily Mail understands that Prince Harry and Meghan have bought a home in Portugal. They are not the only royals who have a Portuguese property, with Harry's cousin, Princess Eugene, and her husband, Jack, owning a home in the Ocean Club, a luxury development of 300 properties by the sea in south of Portuguese capital. My people, the purchase of home in Portugal may have allowed Sussexes to acquire a so-called golden visa under which they would have visa-free access to Europe unions. That is according to Richard Eden, and I'm so sad that Eden is always looking for Harry and Meghan in every angle. I am actually so sad that Eden is ignoring the mysterious failures in the royal family and the entire monarchy. Turning a blind eye to all those things that we have been seeing in the royal family, the dramatic events and everything that we have seen, especially the most recent one, which I have mentioned, the trip that Camilla and Charles are planning on. It's already a flop. It's not yet here. But honestly speaking, Australian politicians have already shown how much they are not interested with the two royals. So you can actually see. I always hate the fact that Eden is so silent on such kind of stories, but when it comes to Harry and Meghan, they always run up to these stories, and for this case, it is Richard Eden. Tell me why Eden is still obsessed with Harry and Meghan. Tell me why Eden is assuming his own god, Kate Middleton. It doesn't sit well with me, and I just came here to inform you of the same so that you give me your own opinion concerning the same. My people, that is all about this particular video. The British media reporting, the bias reporting, is something that has been consistent and it seems it has no end. These people are so opportunist because every single day they are looking for an opportunity to trash Harry and Meghan and to lie about them. So Eden. The world is watching you and people are so much aware of your lies and the bias reporting. My people, let me know what you think about it in the comments section and allow me to end it here. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. Remember to subscribe, like and share. Until next time, it is a goodbye.